Hi everyone, I am Divya from Informatica. In this video, I will be talking about setting up match path and filter in Informatica MDM. This is the agenda for this video. Beginning with the match path overview, followed by how to configure match path and filter, then configuring match columns, then we will be seeing allow missing child option and end this session with the demonstration. Match path. Match path allows to configure the match path for parent or child relationships for records in different base objects or in the same base object. Allows you to traverse the hierarchy between records. Whether that hierarchy exists between base objects, which is called intertable paths, or within single base object, which is called in intratable paths. Path filter. Path filter allows you to selectively include or exclude records based on values in a given column, such as address type or party type. Here in this picture, we can see that paths tab under match and merge settings, from where match paths can be defined. It consists of an option called allow missing child. Below we can see that filter can be applied which we will see in details in the further slides. Coming to when allow missing child is enabled. The allow missing child records option indicates whether parent records must be considered for matching based on a check for the existence of records in the child based objects in the match path. It consists of two scenarios. One, when the child records are present in match path and the other when the child records are missing in the match path. Here, I'm gonna be explaining on child record uh, when child records are present in match path. The match path can have one or more child based objects and the match path of the parent record can have child records. If you enable the check for missing children, the match columns for the parent and child records appear in the match path component view. When you run the generate match tokens job, the MDM hub enters values for the parent records in the match key table. Scenario 2 is when child records are missing in match path. The match path can have one or more child based objects and the match path of the parent record can have missing child records. If you enable the check for missing children, the values for the parent record and null values for the missing child records appear in the match path component view. When you run the generate match tokens job, the MDM hub enters values for the parent and child records in the match key table. Therefore, the MDM hub includes the parent record in the match process. Coming to when allow missing child is disabled. There are two scenarios in this case also. Child records are present in match path. The, M the match path can have one or more child based objects and the match path of the parent record can have child records. If you disable the check for missing children, the match columns for the parent and child records appear in the match path component view. When you run the generate match tokens job, the MDM hub enters values for the parent records in the match key table. The behavior is same as in the scenario where child records are present in the match path of the parent records with the check for missing children enabled. The difference will come in the next scenario. Coming to the second scenario, when child records are missing in match path. If you disable the check for missing children where the match path has missing child records, records do not appear in the match path component view, which was different in the previous scenario. When you run the generate match tokens job, the MDM hub does not enter values for the parent and child records in the match key table. Therefore, the MDM hub does not include the parent record in the match process for which the child's records are missing. Now we will see the demonstration. Select the base objects for which match path is required to be defined. Here person is the root component and address is the child. Go to match merge setup of the root component. Go to the paths tab. Click on the plus button to add a match path, give a display name. Select the direction here parent to child. Click on OK. For filter, select the path component. 
click the plus button to add a filter. Select the column which will be used as a filter. Here state. Add the values to the state. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Save this settings. You can see that the check missing child is enabled in this case. Now we will define the match columns. Go to match columns. Define the key type. Here I am selecting person name because I will be using name, first name and last name. Add match columns. Add another exact match column. And I will be adding a match column from the child component, which will be city. Select the child component. Now we will define the match rule set. Go to match rule sets tab. Click on plus button to add a new match rule set. Click on OK. Click on plus button to add match rules. Add the match columns. Click on OK. Select the match purpose. Here person name. Click on OK. Save the settings. Now we will look at the data of the parent table which is person. We can see there are four records with the same name John Smith. Three of them refer to to department IT and one of them is from CAC department. Based on the department, we would have considered the first three John Smiths to be the same person. Now we will see the data in the child table which is address. We can see the first two John Smiths were from Jason Street, one from Mont Hawk HWY and another from Scotland Ave. Now, based on the address provided by John Smiths, we can see that the first two John Smiths belong to the same address, which can suggest that the two John Smiths are the same person. Now, we will see how MDM matches data on the basis of the match rules we defined. Go to Batch Viewer, select the Generate Match Tokens for Person, execute the batch. We can see that four tokens are, to are generated. Now we can see in the view of CMT Person Address which we created while defining the match path that the parent records are present even for the records for which child records are not there. Here, these two uh, columns are from child table address and these two are null because it did not satisfy the filter which was state New York. This record belonged to NZ. So, the records are still present from the per person table John Smith CAC department. This is because of the allow missing child was enabled. Now from the strip table which contains all the tokens we can see that the parent records for which the child records was not 
there in the view still those tokens are generated because it generates all the uh, tokens for all the records which were there in the view now from the batch viewer we will run the match job execute the batch on executing the match for person we can see that one record is matched with another record from the c person mtch table we can see that one matched with two which means which means the john smith from jason street with row id 1 is matched with the john smith from jason street with row id 2 this is exactly what we had except, expected now coming back to mdm hub console and changing this setting to no which means disabling the check missing child click on okay save the settings generate the match tokens for person again with regenerate all match tokens execute batch we can see now that in the cmt person address view there are only three records which belong to ny state and the record with state nz is now not here this is because the check missing child is disabled here coming to strp table which contains the tokens now we can see that all those records which had the child record for the parent are here and the records where the child record was having null is now excluded this is the way we can include or exclude the records on the basis of the value of a column now we will run the match for person again run execute batch we can see one match is found here we can see in the mtch table that row id object 1 matched with row id object 2 which means jason uh, street john smith matched with jason street john smith which was expected this is the end of demonstration you can refer to these cables for more information we would love to hear from you these are the details thank you